The murder of George Floyd at the hands of police officer Derek Chauvin has sparked great reaction all across the United States, major protests and even riots being started in Minneapolis, Atlanta, Los Angeles, and many more cities. This outrage, though triggered by Floyd's death, was the culmination of the news of Ahmaud Arbery and Breonna Taylor's disturbing murders. 16-year-old Coco Goff has spoken out against these senseless killings, first speaking on George Floyd. I am in tears watching this video. Every day, innocent people are dying because of our skin color. No one deserves to die like that. I just can't believe this. This needs to stop. Hashtag George Floyd. Goff went on to say, I promise to always use my platform to help make the world a better place. Text Floyd to 55156 to sign the petition and demand justice for George Floyd. Coco went even a step further, posting this powerful TikTok speaking out against the injustices African Americans are facing at the hands of law enforcement. Unfortunately, I couldn't play the music that went along with the video, but that still has no effect on its purpose and power. I am proud and inspired to see Coco Golf using her platform to speak out against these injustices, especially being only 16. Two-time major champion Naomi Osaka was also clearly impacted by Floyd's death, retweeting news coverage of the disturbing murder. Additionally, she retweeted boyfriend YB and Corday's tweet where he quotes Martin Luther King Jr. addressing those that are silent during these times. Last night, Naomi decided to speak up herself tweeting, Just because it isn't happening to you, doesn't mean it isn't happening at all. Just recently, she also tweeted, It's funny to me that the people who wear chains, blast hip-hop in the gym, attempt to get dapped up, and talk in slang are suddenly quiet right now. She also made an Instagram post seemingly showing her support of the Minneapolis protests with a caption, If you stand for nothing, you fall for everything. Judging by her IG story, it seems like she actually might be in Minnesota herself. Nonetheless, Naomi is speaking nothing but facts in her statement. A lot of the people want to immerse themselves in black culture, but rarely speak out in support of black people themselves. Her previous tweet is very applicable even to her former coach, Sasha Bayan. Bayan made this ignorant tweet saying that he doesn't see these types of problems in Europe. I was raised in Europe and it's different. Color isn't an issue there. Yes, of course, we have issues like everybody does, but how can people just hate each other so much over the color of someone's skin? I'll never understand that. Guys, the police officers who are responsible for taking an innocent life should not be allowed to live their own freedom and should be locked up for the remainder of theirs, period. But I just don't remember an incident like that in Germany or Serbia. Guys, recent history. We speak about the police here, not World War II. Two different things. We have a long way to go, but learn from our mistakes that should never be forgotten. Almost instantly, Many Twitter users check Sasha, providing numerous examples of how racism is still very much prevalent in European countries. Moving on from that, other tennis players express their anger at the current situation, 2017 US Open champ Sloane Stevens making this touching statement. Praying for all those like George Floyd and their loved ones who have been impacted by police brutality and these senseless violent crimes. This is heartbreaking and disgusting to continuously see. This cannot continue, and we have to all do our part here. Talk to your kids and your friends. It starts with us, with conversations, with acknowledgement. Don't ignore something because it makes you feel uncomfortable. Call local, state, and federal officials demanding justice. Text Floyd to 55156 for hashtag justice for Floyd. 
Sasha Vickery and Vicky Duval also commented on the matter using Twitter as their platform. Tennis legend Chris Everett expressed her disgust at the four cops involved in George Floyd's murder, tweeting, This is sickening. No, stronger than sickening. Why did this have to happen? There are four men here who need to go to prison for this murder. This entire situation is very difficult for me to speak about because it hurts to constantly see my people have to go through this. George filed a bad check. Ahmad was jogging. Brianna was in her own home. None of these three individuals deserve to lose their lives. It affects me a lot because they were black, but it should affect everybody because these three people are human. Something has to be done because I and so many other countless African Americans don't deserve to have the constant fear of just being black in America.